In today's video, we'll be looking at how to install Parrot OS on a VMware workstation. I have a VMware workstation open, but before we begin the installation, we actually need to get the ISO file. So we'll open a browser and uh, search for Parrot OS download. We'll select the link that takes us to parrotsec.org. Now, once you get to the page, you'll see there's different uh, options as far as the downloads. You have the security edition, which is uh, designed for penetration testing. Uh, you have the OM edition, which is for daily use. We'll be downloading this one here, the security edition uh, that comes with penetration testing tools. So you just click on uh, download here, select the ISO, image and this is uh, almost five uh, gigs so it's going to take a while depending on your internet speed so i already downloaded this file so i'm just going to go ahead and cancel this and i'm going to go back to vmware workstation and then i'm going to go to file new virtual machine you can also create new virtual machine from here. It will bring up the same pop-up window. We'll go with typical installation, next. We'll select the option that says, I will install the operating system later. We'll click on next. Uh, it's a Linux operating system. Uh, the version is uh, Debian. We'll go with the, so you can go with, it's a Debian, based so you can take you can go with debian or you can go with the uh, ubuntu it doesn't really matter so i'll select ubuntu here click next uh just give it a the virtual machine give it a name uh, power os and this name you can actually modify it later if you want you can change it later and then here is the installation location you click next uh, minimum disk is uh, selected 20 GB. We'll go with that, the default, then the default for split virtual disk. Click next. Here you, you can customize the hardware. Memory value selected. You can increase it if you want. It's, it's going with the 4 GB processors too. Now here you have to select your ISO image. So click on use ISO image, browse. Go to the folder where you have the download and double click on it to select it. Network, based on the network design, you can use NAT to share the host IP address. So you can go with the bridge that connects to the your physical network. So I'm gonna go with this one bridged connection the rest will just leave at the will leave the default for the rest click on close finish and the virtual machine we just created is right here we'll click on it and then we'll click power this power the virtual machine the next window there's three options we are, we are looking to try and uh, or install. We'll go with the first option. We're not interested in the other two options. So click, with that selected, just click enter, just enter. So it's still loading here. It's done loading and now we are inside of Parrot OS. You can actually try it. I mean, you can test the different features that are available without doing the installation. Now, in order to install the machine, we'll click on Install Parrot. So double click on that. In this window, we'll begin the installation process. 
we'll begin by selecting the language. So it's the default is American English. Click next. You can select your region. And then click next. Uh, keyboard. I'll go with the default. Click next. Here it's uh, asking if you want to erase the disk. We'll select it. And this is going to uh, create that uh, virtual disk for us. Click next. Now we'll input a name for the machine. And the user. So you need a username and then you want to give your uh, computer a name. And then also you need a password. Click on next, then click on install. Install now. Now this might take uh, several minutes to, to complete. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll pause the video, then I'll come back once it's completed. So the installation is done. We have the option to restart now. We'll say done. We'll wait for it to reboot. Okay, we'll go with the first option, press enter. We have the login screen. Just put in our password. Okay, and we are logged in. Now we can verify a few things. Uh, I normally just like to verify that I have uh, internet connectivity. And we can just use the terminal to do that. Verify that we have a valid IP. Uh, 172.16.1.100 is our, our IP. We can ping some website, let's say google.com. And we're getting a successful ping. And that just verifies that our uh, we have connectivity and our DNS is, is set up correctly. So that's it for the installation of uh, Parrot OS on our VMware workstation. I hope this information has been useful. See you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.